Okay, Antoinetta, welcome back. Thank you, John. Uh, I think the audience is going to be wondering what's happened to you for the last few days. Would you like to tell us about it? Yeah, well, I tested uh, positive for COVID-19 on the second test we made. The first one I was negative and I managed to play the first game. And then uh, in the evening I tested positive. So I had to wait for a confirmation next day with the PCR test. Unfortunately, that one was positive as well. So then I had to wait six days until I could get tested again. Yes, and you had to be tested twice. You had to have two negative tests. Sure, yes. If you were allowed to come and play chess with us again. Yes, and I was allowed to leave my room. Yes, <laughs> which was a great... Be before that, I was uh, a week in the room, yeah. Yes, which is probably quite a difficult thing to do. Well, it is, but uh, you know, uh, John, I had a lot of things to do uh, for my university because I'm uh, studying for my second master's degree. So, of course, I came here to play chess, but uh, when I was uh, already deprived from that, I decided to work for my exams because it's uh, actually the end of the semester. So, mm -hmm. I hope my professors uh, like what I wrote for them and what I sent. And uh, yeah, I didn't have much free time, actually. And did you follow the chess here? Did you watch the games? Of course, I mm -hmm. followed the games from here and the games from Vike, so. Okay, well, tell us about your game today, your comeback game. Well, it was a tough game. I, I somehow felt a bit strange in the beginning. It was a bit hard to concentrate. And I could not really remember the theory in this line, although I'm sure I have lost several games <laughs> in this line. So I was trying to remember. Then I realized that I couldn't, so I was trying to figure it out. And uh, I spent a lot of time. And I was feeling uh, not so confident up to a point, but then finally it all worked out well. Yeah, he gave up two pawns for quite a big attack, didn't he? It was very complicated. Well, I mean, it's quite uh, normal for uh, these uh, Catalan-like positions. So I know that, OK, always white has compensation. But on the other hand, it's not so easy to win with black. So sometimes uh, if you want to win, you have to risk it. Yeah. OK, let's have a look at the game. Uh, in this position, with white to play, what did you think of this position at the time? Well, I obviously was uh, thinking too much <laughs> about the position because I had very little time left. And um, well, I mean, it's clear here that uh, either I lose <laughs> a piece very quickly or mm -hmm. uh, OK, I have a two pawns up and of course I still need to develop uh, my bishop and castle. And if I can do that, then, uh, then yes. I will be clearly better. But uh, I was sure that uh, white has compensation here. Yes. I just didn't see anything concrete. Yeah. And maybe he didn't either. Um, but it does look very good, doesn't it, for white here? Yeah. But as, as we noticed earlier, looking at with the engine, there's this idea of queen d2 and then queen b6 and this incredible move, knight a4. Yeah, Which this is uh, not a human move. <laughs> this I didn't see during the game. I yet. think I think if Leandro had seen this, we'd be <laughs> we'd be suspecting him of cheating because yeah. it's a very very it's an inc we'll just look at it on the board so people can look yes. at this um, mm. because of this rook b one move and you really you really got to go to a seven go, yeah. go to a seven and then bishop here and it's suddenly it's just impossible to defend really. Yeah, this uh, doesn't look good. No, I didn't yeah. see this idea, yeah. but uh, it's very, very difficult. I'm not sure if I'm forced to play queen b6. Yes, this queen e7 Maybe move. I can go queen e7. Yeah. Yes. And something, I was thinking something like knight, knight e4. Knight e4, yes. And something knight like five, e5. Yeah. Yeah. And somehow maybe holding the position. I'm not sure, yeah. Yeah. but I didn't see maybe how I lose immediately. So no. at that point, I was uh, fine with that. <laughs> yeah. But if Leandro played bishop c7... So this was yeah. a surprise for me, yes. Uh, yes. What were you expecting? In 
interest? No, I was thinking of queen d2, uh, queen d2 but yeah. Uh, yeah. bishop c7, rook c8, and then if white wants to repeat moves, probably uh, if he goes back to bishop f4, then uh, I don't know if I have a better move than rook d8. Because mm -hmm. somehow I didn't want to go knight f6 immediately, but may maybe I can, I don't know. But uh, bishop a5, I mean, the whole idea was uh, yeah. a bit surprising for me because somehow the bishop here, I don't know, I didn't feel that it's uh, the right thing to do. But yeah. I don't know, still, of course, uh, white still has uh, compensation. Mm -hmm. And then I was not sure about knight f6. But I thought that, okay, in any case, all my pieces are hanging, so I have to do something. You've got to do something. Um, You've got to try and get your king to safety, haven't you? So. Of course. And then I must admit that I didn't see uh, after queen a7. Because here also I have the option of queen e7, but somehow it doesn't uh, mm -hmm. help me develop the bishop. So, so I, I went for the most more logical move. Yes. And now with something like knight e4, then knight d5 probably. And uh, well, I'm still quite a long way of de developing here, but I can, I was thinking, for example, something like bishop c3, c5, and uh, we'll try to consolidate here first and uh, yes. later on try to do something with my king side. But, um, well, I'm not sure uh, what he played in the game. Yes, knight b5 was, uh, of course, uh, a bit shocking because yes. <laughs> if it works, uh, then it's not good for black <laughs> that yes. I allowed this and after uh, queen e7 I wouldn't have this problem. But I actually didn't see how it works after here. Uh, after the game, actually, he mentioned Leandro mentioned something like before knight b5. Uh, before that, okay. Maybe to start with bishop c6 first. Okay. okay. But I'm not sure I know what is the difference because still after knight b5, I take and then rook takes. Mm -hmm. And this we could have in the game. And then I was thinking to play uh, rook. Rook a8, maybe? Hmm. Yeah. Queen b7. Queen b7 is also a possible move, but... Yeah. Uh, and rook b6 is an Rook b6, yeah. and yeah. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. So, rook a8. It does look very difficult, but on the f I can't see... But uh, now yeah. there is uh, rook c7, and yeah. I cannot take because of uh, rook c8. Ah. Yes. And I'm not sure what's going on here. Interesting, isn't it? But he hasn't got many pieces left to checkmate you with, really. I mean, um, I suppose... He's, yeah. No. Hmm. Yeah, I can't see it either. I don't know. I didn't see it during the game, but uh, by that point also, Leandro, he was... Yeah, in, uh, he was in time travel as well, was he? Yes. Okay, maybe not here yet, but uh, going down on the clock as well. But uh, after uh, rook c6, bishop p7, I actually felt much better already because now it's only one move away from castling. <laughs> so I, I yeah. thought that... Uh, Have all these squares defended. It always feels better with bishops, doesn't it? Defending those yeah. difficult squares. Um, um, okay, so he just took it and played and the check. Not bishop c6, I guess it's a mistake. Uh, okay. I don't. I was not sure what to do after rook c1, because if now I castle, then there is yeah, uh, a rook c7. So I mm -hmm. guess I should try to play something else. But what exactly? I was not sure. But I don't know. Maybe some. I know. Was it in this this moment rook c1? I'm not sure. Um, bishop 6. Yeah, I, I don't know really. Bishop d7, maybe I can play. Bishop d7, yeah. Rook c7, queen 
A6 or Queen B8. C7, yeah. It looks so dangerous, doesn't it? Well, it does, but... Uh, but well, you're defending. But you're defending. <laughs> it looks that I'm defending everything. Mm, I'm yeah. not sure. Yeah. So maybe maybe he just blew it. Bishop C6 check. Yes, and Bishop... Okay, here there is a nice line. If I go King F8... Ay, 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 ay. I have to take and then Bishop B4. Nice. And Bishop, there. Bishop B7, Rook D8. Amazing. So yeah. I had to be careful here, but I believe that after Bishop d7, okay, maybe, okay, if he takes, I can just even take with the queen. With the queen, yeah. And after Bishop b6, <coughs> take here, I didn't see much. Yeah. I mean, I was expecting something like Rook c1. C1, yeah. Uh, because, okay, after G6, there is this check. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, I don't have to do that. Yeah. I mean, uh, after Rook C1, I can just go Bishop C5 and put my King on E7. And, yes. okay, I'm a piece up, so yeah. it should be fine. Yeah, very good. Okay, thanks very much. <laughs>